gone off to a wonderful start now. I've gone on the right train, but the wrong section of. It splits, and one goes down towards Aberystwyth, the other one goes up to Pufeli. I've just made my way back through now to ensure I'm on the right part, and I can now actually enjoy the journey. I confided in what the uh, weather report was saying, it said it's meant to be miserable pretty much all through the week. I figured I'd wear fleece and long poncho, and sure enough, hammering down with sun in it. And if it's a nice one, I'm not going to complain, you know what I mean? Which means I'll have to drop a few layers when I get there. But all in all, it'll mean that it's uh, going to make for a nicer time away. I think we're just heading towards Fairbourne, so still a bit of a distance, about an hour and a half or so left to go, but it's been a nice enough ride, chilling. Definitely looking forward to taking this outfit off though. It was far more than I was expecting to. So, so I rather it was nice than it was pissing it down. You know? so. We are just about to get to the stop now, get off this train. I've just been chilling for a little while, it's roughly an hour now since I got off of the train and just been sat in the shade of the station waiting for the clouds to cover the sun a little bit there's a nice decent breeze and it's still a nice day just uh, now to take the final slog up there round the corner and onto the park it's a shame they just don't open this door for me I'd be right in there then you know what I mean <laughs> alas no I shall uh, do so get some bits in and by the time I am I should be allowed into the caravan then so if not I'll just loiter in a little woodland somewhere you know what I mean like I do anyway I shall uh, sign off just for the now and get back to you when we're in there I'm along the bottom section of things now not too far to go until I'm at my caravan but uh, <laughs> you know you've been here a few times this year when the lady at the security booth says Oh, hello, again, <laughs> and says, well, no need for me to tell you where to go, because I'm pretty sure you already know, which, yeah, to be fair, I do. <laughs> nice to be recognized, at least. I remember her from the first time, she's like, oh, I really like your trousers. Anyway, I'm going to make my way to the shop, head up to the caravan, and probably just mong out for the evening, maybe watch a film, and just wind down. Didn't film much between when I last did and get into here because oh, I was out of breath I was hot bothered and the rest of it so I figured I'd just get in and then uh, sort my stuff out and get back to you then I'm in the same caravan as I was when I last came a few weeks ago uh, but I didn't actually show you around the place so let's do that man I'll quickly do that now so we've got a wonderful dining table my friend Sam his mom Heather she gave me some birthday money in my card. Thank you, Heather. So uh, I've decided to put it towards this. So it's an adventurine. It helps to promote luck, success, and prosperity. So thank you for that, man, and hopefully it will do. I've once again stocked up on the essentials. Uh, I'm celebrating Stocktober for all the others that I'm actually to do better than me. I've got your kitchen area over here. I mainly just use the kettle for my uh, coffees, which actually I might have one in a moment. This week's choice of film is Rango, starring Johnny Depp. The uncanny thing about it, being Johnny Depp, is uh, my new camera that you're on now. I've nicknamed it Jack. I've got a lens cap, right, which goes over it, but it makes it look like a pirate. I'll show you. And then, yeah, down here is just basically base station hub. And, of course, the Moo. Come say hello, Moo. Hello, Moo. We've had a good time so far, haven't we? Well, I know we've only just got here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm the journey over and that and the train and, yeah, having a walk through the, the trees to get here. She's happy. I'm happy. There's a few places I'd like to see whilst here that I've not yet done. 
I'll pop you there a minute. So uh, that's at least on the agenda. So I figure while it's still nice out, might as well make the most of that. But first. That's the tad on the warm side, so I'll leave that there for a moment. While I do, I'll show you around the place. Here's your shitter. Here's your spare bedroom, and here's the master bird one. <laughs> it's got everything you need. A spacious, yummy looking bed. A wardrobe with no clothes in it. And just a little bit of a desk area for, you know, whatever is required. I mean, I don't need makeup. I'm already beautiful enough as it is. <laughs> That's about the extent of it, really. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Just over there, there's a bit cloud covered there, but you've got a uh, lovely mountain. It's beautiful. I'll tell you what's not so beautiful, this swamp goblin I'm burping in here. <laughs> and on that note, I'm thinking to order in some food, chomp that, and when I have, decide then whether or not I pop out this evening and uh, catch the rest of the night then or like i said before mong out with a movie here and then do that tomorrow but in the meantime while i'm waiting on that i think i shall crack open one of these the only thing i didn't take into account is uh i've just looked out the window it's not night night time but it's uh definitely dark and down to you the birds man That's why I love it here. I'll likely stop in tonight, watch that movie, after having some of the munch. For the now, and from me and the cow, we'll catch you in a bit. You yeah, right. <laughs> How's it going, alright? Cheers, thank you. Okay, Have a good enjoy. night. Thanks, will do. Yeah, I'll leave it open, man. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Just listening to the birds. Why not? It's nice to see a two bird. That's it. You have a good night. You too, thank you. <laughs> well, that was a bit random. She comes and drops off me chicken, right? And then closes the door on me. I wonder what you're doing. She just unlatches the caravan door and starts closing me. I'm like, what? I'm listening to the birds. <laughs> Round two's just coming there. Nom 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 nom. How are you alright? How's it going? Yeah, good. Good, yeah, I'm alright. Oh. That's good of you, man. Thank you. You too, man. Have a good night. Well. <sighs> it's fishing, I suppose. Well, I was going to move it out of the way, but it just fell apart. A little bit of the batter. Mm. Crunchy. I was kind of hoping that the haddock might have been smoked, but never mind. Anyway, you don't want to watch me in another Scotty food montage, so I shall uh, <laughs> scoff through this. And catch you a bit. <laughs> You're an animal. <sighs> well, I'm nicely belly busted. It was all right overall, yeah. But <sighs> after a long day of travel, settling in, getting in, I think now I'm just gonna put that film on and mellow out with Moo. I know it's Kung Fu Panda, not Rango. It's the coming soons from years ago. <laughs>
thanks for coming along if you have and uh, we shall catch you next time say goodbye moo goodbye moo peace and milk man <laughs>